morning. I usually eat breakfast and have coffee, but we're like seven miles from Damascus. We could have breakfast and coffee there, which would be awesome. So I just packed up. We'll have breakfast there, which would be awesome. There's another campsite. That's a really pretty one. Look at that. Out on the water. Yeah. What a beautiful place. That's an potato field. That's cool. Yeah, we got seven miles, and it's all downhill, so I've been living here, man. Isn't that cool? I had to stop to change the battery out. I turned around, a little fog on that mountain. Isn't that cool? It's supposed to get, I think we have 80% chance of rain today, so I might get a little wet on this trip. It's okay. These are apple trees. Little restaurant. Right on the trail. Look at the freaking view. Look at this log cabin. Isn't that beautiful? I love those type of cabins. The trail is pretty wet, but that's because of all the rain. Oh, they're working on the bridge. Look at this. Not as steep. So I was thinking about this last night. The um, how hard that was on the battery going up this hill. You don't really notice the grade because uh, the motor does all the work. And this would be so fun to pack raft. I think it would anyway. But if it was a two-day trip, it'd be tough to get back in that water. I mean, it's it's chilly. It's cold. Another parking spot. Attention. No horses allowed. Take the toes. Little train caboose. Some bathrooms. That don't be stupid, don't be stupid. Oh. it. Hey guys. They are hustling. It's 8.30. Just some breakfast. People already on the trail means that they probably spooked any animals. Oh, what are we doing? Let's see. I love the, when the trails are right next to the water. The Green Briar Trail was like that. That was so cool. It was super smooth. Let's see what the weather is like. The water's definitely dry was much higher yesterday. It was rolling. So far the batteries have been doing good, but I really haven't pedaled that much going downhill. So my uh, plan of seeing how far this will go, most definitely the speed going downhill. But I'll tell you what, this bike just is comfortable. Just really don't feel the grade at all. Look at this beautiful place. Jeff. Hey puppy. 
morning. Twice to go to potty. There's another fire at the campsite. Oh yeah, you can see the way it's flat. Oh, this is nasty. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Feels like you're riding on pavement, and it's a bit, well, a little bit like pavement. Sometimes you get these little bumps. There's a cool campsite right near a bridge up here. It's easier downhill. Hi. It's easier downhill. Oh. Ooh, see, the people out here um, stay healthy. Look like that way. When I get older, this is definitely not bad at all. Morning. I had to fix my um, Sims card, it's full, but I'm on Trussell 24. There's a campsite on the other side that has steps to it, and there's one on the other side as well, but this looks pretty cool. You see that? It's only catch and release on trout. You can't catch them and eat them, which is uh, mad unforch. That's what the kids are saying right now, mad unforch. But yeah, here, look at that. It's a little bit steep. For like bikes and stuff. So the campsites are not bad. Anything past Damascus, you're gonna be okay on the campsite. I don't think I saw any campsites on the other side. I've been pedaling much, just kind of give it a little push and, um, and then just kind of chill. A little bit muddy. They're always muddy at the end. Oh yeah, you can tell the water's out. You see over there? That was all covered. A little dip. Okay. American chestnut. Oh, those are the guys that were running. I was looking at the mud and uh, saw human feet. I'm like, what is that? Definitely cool. Go for some coffee right now. We'll get there. Oh, there's another campsite. Right up there. Real flat. Parked a couple of people there. There's another campsite. Right up there. If you're not near the water, I guess this is Trussell 25. Or is it 20? Oh, 22. Okay. Looks mm -hmm. okay. Oop, oop. the old uh i guess that's the one where you have to hit the whistle it's supposed to have a w it's this little parking area oh that's right here's the bear there's a bear box you can camp here They're over there what a neat trail i always say it but it, it smells so good out here if you ever get a chance to come out here just take a deep breath If that if the beaver did that or not that's crazy did you see that well, the beaver turn made the um river turn look at this path it's just straight i'm going to show you something I showed you earlier but check out this just the power of this thing is crazy Yeah, that is 
yesterday I could feel the power I was coming up just the whoops, just the power of it just went like pounding you could tell something was going on like on this camera something going on it's freaking awesome it's very cloudy up in the mountains up right up there that's a mountain but it, you can't really see it especially with the GoPro but uh, because it's all foggy we should be super far from Damascus now what does this say uh, Mount Rogers Mount Rogers what is that 19 I think 18, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, I think, for like two miles maybe, or three miles from the prep fest, right next to the road to Damascus, so we see the road. Look at this. That's awesome. Coming right off the mountain. That's awesome. That was definitely pretty. I had to take some pictures of that. Look at this. Oh man. We're never gonna get breakfast. Get that lens underneath here. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, we gotta get breakfast. Let's go. Super pretty. Well, that's cool. I can't pay attention when I don't see myself. That's the road leading to Damascus. There's the uh, wood for the railroad. I think after 22, uh, this is 20, I've not seen any campsites. I think after 22, unless I see something else, I'll let you know, but I think Trestle 24 or 25, that's it. No campsites. Waterfall from that. You know this would be beautiful in the fall in mile marker 18 with all the change of colors for a day. I don't really see any campsites. This is pretty. Oh, there's one right there. It's wet though. 18. There's a campsite there, but it's got a stream going through it. <laughs> Look at this. has that train track smell too. So, 18 has one. If it's raining a lot, that wouldn't be the one I would want to go to. That says no trespassing. I thought I saw another one, but it, it has, I guess somebody owns this over here. It left to me because it has a bunch of signs saying no trespassing. It's definitely beautiful. Oh. That tires on this, I'm just nervous, but this just runs over it like a full wheel drive. Yeah. It's crazy beautiful. Definitely recommend this. It's just um it is commercialized, so there's restaurants and coffee places I'm showing those to you. If you're just starting out. Or just want a really cool trip you could really do this in a day I think it took me from my truck to white top uh, was two and a half hours and this is on an e-bike drink there it is I didn't wreck it off what is this 
hikers, bikers, wicked, wicked chicken, Damascus, Virginia. Or, that's what I'm talking about. And then, uh, Damascus Brewery. Okay. We are not. That is cool. Not far at all. Whoa. Look at that. Scared me a little bit. Did y'all see that? I've done so good not to get my feet wet. I don't hit nothing weird. There we go. That trailer is just wider. You gotta be really careful. Definitely downhill. I'm at 50, 55 percent. We're definitely gonna be able to. We could definitely do this with two, uh, two batteries. Look at this. did so well. I'm gonna let the, uh, uh, the battery do this so I can keep my feet dry. Uh, hiking trails as well. It's just a least resistance in the woods. It's like the battery do its job. I'm not pedaling. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, remember this? This is where my feet got so. This will definitely tell us how low it's gotten because you can see it's definitely dropped. Oh yeah. That was crazy. Last time this thing was full. Look at that. Super cool. We're getting into Damascus anyway. What's it say? One mile to Damascus. It says Dr. Pepper. I don't know what that is, but Bristol. We'll be in Bristol in a couple of weeks. Well, Smith Auto Sales. Here comes another biker. Good morning. Almost a coffee. I got signal now. All kinds of notification. There's the Appalachian Trail. Right there. There's where you can get refill your drink. Right off the mountain. This path, really nice. And it's pretty flat, so you're not gonna not pedal. Morning. Morning. Welcome to Damascus. We're on the creeper trail. Alright, so now it's time to find something to eat. Get some coffee. It's at Appalachian Town. Wicked chicken. Now hired four seasons. Never eat there. Got ice cream. What's up? It's a bike junction. Got some water. Moe's Cafe. I think he's a chef. See how crazy this is going to be. <laughs> These things light up at night, which is really cool. They turn them on. Got a Damascus dog cart. This trail is pretty. Got to do with business. It's neat to be in this town and not have to work. Which I don't mind working, it's making money, but 
Alright, we are almost there. It's this shady place the restaurant right there. Let's stop for a second. That's where we're going, it's right over there. I'm going that way. So go ahead. Alright, get something to eat. Alright. Hopefully nobody steals our stuff. Got my phone. Get a look at the weather. That look crazy. I got my wallet. Yeah, I got my wallet. All right. I don't know if we can film in here, so I gotta turn you off for just a second. Sitting at the bar. This place is really cool. Uh, there is no signal in here. Oh, the weather. Let's look at the weather. Oh, I need to look at what I'm gonna eat too. Hey, I like the shirt. Thank you. Nine people. See the Woodstock. Fried chicken. Everything's still here. That's cool. My belly is full. There's no signal in there. There's really no signal right here. Either. Well, two bars. Let's look at the weather. I haven't had a chance to look at the weather. Because we're for right here to the truck is, I think, 15 miles. Flood watch. Oh, okay. Rain will be here at 3 o'clock. It's only 10. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Uh, it won't take us long to get, get to the truck. Oh, man, my belly. Let's get some sauce. Some tiger blood. Got some tiger blood in me. That thing charged really quick. You did a good job in there. It's about time to put on my sunglasses, my umbras. like a fighter pilot now. All right, put this on so I don't kill myself. Put this on, assist two. All right, here we go. Get back on the trail, 15 miles. We got 52% on the, on the battery, we should make that.
super cool. Much lower now. Done 55 miles in two days. Isn't that pretty? This was a sawmill at one time uh, where they did the logging. You see this? I just seen it. That bit right there. Loading up the logs. Such a pretty place. Right on this trail. It's definitely not boring. Here's a place you could camp if you had a um, if you had a tent. You could probably make it work with a hammock. Can you imagine having a train come through your yard like this? I'm not really into big homes. I like small homes. I definitely like you know pretty yards with houses on them. Look at that. Now you can rent these cabins here. These are pretty popular. Like big boots and stuff like that. That's floor run cabins right on the trail. Look at that old house over there. Looks haunted. Left the rail on there. The, the railroad ties. Got the best seat in the house. That's sitting on his front porch. We're going to creep. Oh, oh, oh. Still on the side of the road. Can you see those mountains over there with the clouds on top of them? Oh. Getting away from the river a little bit. That bridge where they do the blasting and stuff. They're coming up on that. Morning. You see all the like, crazy clothes. I'm just wearing some camo pants. Well, oh well. Good morning. Look at that old Pepsi uh, machine. That's cool. Get yourself a soda or a pop. You know what I'm talking about. Turn off two way radios and cell phones. You hear that pounding? I think they're like pounding the like a drill bit into the mountain so they can explode, bust it out. Look at this. This is crazy. That's how they build bridges. Say, I approve something. 
Alright, so this is great. Hold on, let me free up my hand real quick. Crazy. Look at those beautiful homes. This is like the perfect place other than that pounding. That would suck. I've always been poor, so I don't know what that feels like to have a beautiful house on a river like this. They probably worked hard for it. I'm not picking on them. Make good decisions. Sometimes things work out for you. Get this. I always thought it would be pretty cool to be a, uh, was it train engineer? I don't know if it would. It's really for an, an introvert because you really don't. I mean, you're, you're pretty much by yourself or you might be with a partner or something. I don't know how it works. I'm an extrovert, so uh, I, uh, I like people. So, I mean, there's no trash or anything on that I've seen. I'm really impressed with uh, how clean this trail is. Definitely cool. Well, that looks like some dark clouds up here. You see that? It says it ain't calling for rain till three. It definitely looks like a piece clouds got it together a little bit it definitely gets the screen there's cows out here you see them over there at 39 percent we should definitely make it i still have the other battery and i let it charge overnight i don't think i'll need it but i'm glad i have the go sun just in case i should stay quiet and see if i see any animals but people here already this, this morning if you get a chance to do the um, North Bend Trail, that one was pretty crazy, and it, you hardly see anybody on it. So, uh, well, I think it's 11 tunnels, and if you do, what I did was, I think it's 77 miles, but I did in and out like I did this one. I didn't see any, see people when you're getting close to like roads and stuff, access points, but you don't see really anybody once you get past them, maybe five miles past the parking spot where you can get in. A lot of people don't go, they'll hike. They'll walk in and out. Most of that trip was by myself. I was able to stop and do photography and all kinds of stuff. Here, I've seen uh, joggers and hikers, cyclists, people walking their dogs. It's pretty active. So, well, we're starting to slow down. And this is widening up. The wood is blowing up on top of the mountain. I still think it would be freaking awesome to pack raft that. Like hike it to the top of the mountain and then paddle back down. I need to talk to my buddy Gordon. He's uh, big into whitewater. I think he's got like four or five boats, whitewater boats. He says you don't really paddle, you just try to stay up on top. Try not to die. <laughs> that sounds kind of like my life story. Just trying to stay on top now, trying to die. You see this barbed wire fencing. This is a private property. They say there's a truck right here. And there's another cyclist. Morning. Morning. Um, put a house. If you're gonna put a house there, that would be the one. It's private property. Yes, don't know. We're at 34% on the battery, and we are, let's see, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. So we're at exactly 60 miles. We're not super far. Uh-oh. Dogs. You hear them? Oh, there's some cyclists right there looking at the, uh, the water. Just trying not to, trying not to die. See, I'm pulling up the map. It's number 15. Little creek. All right, let's pull up. I'm doing all trails. I downloaded it on my phone here. I guess we're right at 23 miles from the. I got 10 more miles to go. I would definitely like all trails. And there's another one. Um, the rail to trail i use that one as well and if you ever want to get a bike computer where you can map this it'll tell you how far you have and everything yeah 10 miles there's a 10 mile mark right there i have a thing called a hammer 
it's a hummingbird, I think. I use Ride with GPS, and it's I think it's crowd pretty much funded where you have to map it, and you can pick up where someone's mapped it already, and it'll follow you GPS. You don't have to have signal. It connects to your cell phone too, so if you get text or any kind of notifications, it'll show you. Park that car right there. Oh, there's a groundhog. You see it? Or is, is that a beaver? second one I've seen. We're at 33%, 10 miles. And I've been looking for campsites on this side. And I have not seen any. That doesn't mean that they don't exist, but I've not been. Now you can camp, they've got like these lower run cabins. You can rent those. I imagine they won't mind you renting or renting a piece of land to put your tent or hammock. What a pretty place. The uh, Damascus Diner was really good. We always like eating there. That um, fried chicken off the chain. Mix those with eggs. Oh, good. Beautiful house. I like that one over there. That's my favorite. Little log cabin. Is it good? Good. All you need. A little garden and a little cat. That's pretty. That river's calmed down. It's still moving. It's definitely not a bunch of rocks, I guess, making it look rapidy. That shoe, that wall. I always like the, the barns with the artwork on them. There's one right here. I don't know where that came from. Be some money on rent. Little bridge. Model marker nine. This is a road. There's a little stream coming down. Into it. Oh, there's a pot. Can you see it? I could barely see it. I need that. It's beautiful. Coming through a little town here. Looks like we got some cyclists. Like a red devil. No overnight parking, which is retarded. I don't get that. How can you camp out here? I had to deal with that at that trailhead up here. No overnight parking. I wound up getting free parking. We are mile marker nine. That pretty house. Looks like might be a crow or something on there. Or a vulture. Yeah, that's a vulture. What you eating, buddy? You're a mess. You couldn't even fly good. I think he's hurt. He used a little bit of the gas. Oh, yeah. I'm not pedaling. But this death needs to be a cave. Or a uh, tunnel. Look at that. What is that protection? And again, we're at 24%. We got eight miles to go. What's cool about the the e-bike is that uh, it's a little bit tired pedaling. Give it a little gas. 
let it do its thing for a minute, but it will drain your battery. The more you pedal, the, the longer this battery will last. I try to keep it on pedal assist two, which is right around, uh, that was mile marker eight. Keeps it right around 10 miles per hour, sometimes 12. As the battery dies, it tries to protect the battery. So it does, it's not as powerful, I guess, because as soon as you put a fresh battery on this thing, it's, it's off. You can tell there's a big difference. Definitely gotta come back here in the car. I think this place would be beautiful. The leaves and everything change. This is definitely a pretty ride. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of blue skies. You see that? The sun's coming out. It was looking ominous there for a little bit. First thing in the morning. It's hard to turn the camera off because it's such a beautiful ride. There's a little camp spot early on. They have a problem with that. That's a really nice spot. That is definitely not moving as fast. The light is just thin though, I think. Up here, there's like three rivers come together, or two rivers into one river, or something like that. I think this is the spot. I'm gonna pull over, and I think this one where all the rivers come together. Let's see. Feels good to walk too. Look at this. Wow. Oh. See the difference in color? Huh. That's cool. This is beautiful. Oh, tree fell right there. Freaking awesome. So there's a river coming in here, river in there. Okay, so the river's coming this way. I think the river's coming that way. And it's going that way. That's what it is doing. I feel so good out here. I love it. was a tunnel. I don't think they probably blasted the top off of it. They did that so uh, they, the tunnels might not be stable. It'd just be safer just to blow the top top of them. But there's plenty of world trails that have they kept the tunnels. But this one does not have any tunnels to it. Doesn't mean it's ugly. But see they built up all the dirt. They're worried about watershed too so when it rained seven miles. Please keep gate closed. Huh. Now we are up here. 
see how far that wind is down there. I smell cows. We're getting close to some farmland. Oh, look at that. Little cave. Drinking a little bit, but nothing like to get wet. I can just feel the little bit of water. There's a sawmill. Right there, the old school one. It's probably important to have something like that. Say, I love GoPro. Man, their batteries, they burn up quick. But yeah, I just got done going through some farmland, uh, which is super cool. I've never experienced that before, where you have to open the gate and close the gate and all that other stuff. See the weather, which has made it nice and cool, because if it was direct sunlight right now, it'd probably be, it would definitely have a different temperature. And that corn is high. You see that? I don't know what kind of corn that is. But it like eight feet, maybe ten foot tall. Cyclist. Hey guys. Place a bunch of trash. And take a rest. Some more cyclist. Hey guys. They are killing it. Got six more miles. I got nine percent on my, my battery. This might be a one and a half or two and a half battery trip. I thought I could make it. We'll, we'll see. I think we got seven more miles is what I said. And we're at 9% battery, so we will see. Gotta say though, it's been a crazy beautiful trip. I like that packing. Carry a little bit heavier gear. I mean, uh, you can obviously like ultra light this. Sure, you could definitely do that. I have ultra light gear. You can bring a lot, you know, grill, a lot more creature comforts. I brought a trailer, different stuff like that. It's sprinkling, see what this says. Five more miles. It's sprinkling on me. This. These are always cool. Yeah, it must be raining harder out. If you're in the trees, you don't really feel it like the little drops here and there, little sprinkles. You get out here, take a look. You can see it's raining. I need to get my phone back in this little case right here. It's in my wallet, in my pocket. But look at that. It's raining on us. Little creek down there. Yeah, let's pull over right here. Yeah. I put this in a safer place. All right. As soon as I put it up, it uh, starts sprinkling. LOL. 
I just want to make sure we're safe. Uh, one of my last adventures, the one called uh, Beautiful Place, Bad Idea. It, uh, yeah, it's coming down. It's raining again. Uh, what time is it? 12 Oh shoot, it's really coming down. My uh, my phone got wet. I couldn't figure to find out how to get home. So I had to go to old school doing maps and remembering the, uh, you know, what town to what town, what town I was going to. It's coming down. Here, take a look. It might have just slowed down a little bit. It was just raining kind of hard. These are dangerous. Yeah, it stopped. Ah, this is dangerous because these roads get, uh, if you hit your brakes on this, you will bust your butt. These things are slippery. Hey guys, it sucks. The rain is coming. We shouldn't be much further. We're building something over there. Maybe a house. I don't know if I would want a house on as public access like this. Just have all kinds of people just walking by. But anyway, the, yeah, the uh, beautiful place, bad idea. Yeah, I got my phone wet and uh, it shut itself off. It detected water. It would not come back on. Uh, and this is the same phone. I just put it in rice and uh, back in the game. It acts funky a little bit, but yeah, I didn't just want this thing to get wet. I don't have a GPS on my truck. It's it, it's capable. All that, I just have to pay like $450. It'll activate a one-time fee. I just, you got your phone. I'm not sure why you really need it. But uh, the time you don't have your phone, that's when you want it. Oh man, this sucks. I would've paid for it. I would've not on Mark IV. Gonna get there quick. I bumped it up to uh, pedal assist four, so it's gonna kill this battery. <laughs> That's okay. We're close. Look at that beautiful house. I love that house. This place is beautiful too. Let's see what's going on here. It's like a ghost. It's so white. Definitely cool. Yeah, we're gonna kill this battery. Yeah, three more miles. You can do it, buddy. 38%. I swapped the battery out for the other one. It only had 40% on it, so that's okay. I think it would be enough, but so two batteries is definitely not enough for 60. Well, this is called the Creeper Trail because the grade is so high, so I don't know if it's super fair to say that it can't go 66 miles, but with this type of gear, this would be pretty much bare minimum. Most rail to trails are flat. This is definitely not a, a normal trail. Look at this path. I can 
be your coat. Let's go, let's go. We're getting close to end. That's number, got one more mile. It is raining on this. Oh, I got a dry pair of clothes if this gets super wet. I got a little chill, got a little shiver. I'm tempted to be under this bridge, but we're so freaking close. Stay under the bridge and stay dry or just keep pushing. I think I'm just gonna keep pushing. Got rained on yesterday, got soaked. By the time I went to camp though, I was dry. And then uh, I'm pretty much, I'm not, like my butt ain't soaking wet. That You know when you're soaking wet is when the water has soaked all over through your pants and now your butt is wet. And I'm not there yet. Beside you. We're up to 14 miles per hour. There it is. Got 8% on my, my battery. I think that's it up there. It's been a great trip. It has been a really cool trip. The restaurants and accommodation and everything to this is freaking awesome. The restaurant all the way down. The good food too. Just the solitude. Gives you the illusion you're in solitude. Right behind you. Right behind you. Hey folks. Behind you. When you're in the woods, it's been raining. These big, giant balls of rain just smack you in the face and melt your face off. Look at that. What are y'all doing? Here it is, guys. My gear does not like getting wet. This is was an awesome trip. Happy trails. my truck that's one of the trains that ran the bad boy truck is right over here. These people were kind enough to let me keep my truck here overnight. Freaking awesome people. Let's get loaded up. Get out of the rain. Freaking soak. soaked <laughs> i need to find some dry clothes man thank you for watching before we go let's grab something to eat there's a pals up here where we can get some sweet tea and a delicious burger if you've ever had pals before it's they're amazing let's put on a dry shirt my britches are still wet i have some but it's all good but right outside the trail there's that right there you see that but it's called pals and it is delicious they're delicious burgers stuff making noise back there oh i can get gas how much is diesel's 4.99 here we're definitely getting gas here this diesel back home is like almost six dollars that's it right there it looks stupid like this is not gonna be good but uh yeah whoever their marketing team is i don't know maybe it's fine maybe they're like hey this is we want it to look kind of crazy we're just gonna keep that camera rolling it is cheeseburger time which I've been spoiled. We had an awesome breakfast, and now we're having burgers. There it is, right there. Oddly enough, this place, they don't do number one, number two, or anything like that. I do number two, if you know what I'm talking about. Everything's separate. You order a burger, fries, and drink, everything's separate. Oh, uh, let's see, the double Big Pal with, with cheese on it? Yes, ma'am. Everything but no tomato. Double Big Pal with cheese, no tomato. 
and uh, fries and a large sweet tea. Ten cent. I keep forgetting that. It's okay. I'm messing up, and you don't pay on this side. I just want to give her money. I got a five-hour drive. I slept good. I definitely slept good. I got up 12:30 to go pee and 2:30, then woke up at seven. That hammock, you lay flat, and so you could lay on your side, your stomach, your back. It's crazy comfortable, and it wasn't like hot. It wasn't cold. It was nice. I want to look good there for the camera. You gotta pay and then get food. So it's gonna be 10.75. There you go. There's tea. Oh, Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. Really neat place. This is right at the trailhead. $4.99. That's awesome. But this is what we came for. For check this out. These fries are awesome. Look at that. Do you see that? I have off the train. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, guy. Thank you for watching. Everything on this video that I used is on the description below. If you like any of it, we got a lot more adventures coming. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.